Amazon has introduced a new text-to-speech model called Base TTS, which is currently the world's largest and most powerful model of its type. As you know, text-to-speech refers to a model that accepts written text as an input and then speaks that text for us, which is what we use to create talking avatars and chatbots, among other use cases. Base stands for Big, Adaptive, Streamable, Emergent. TTS is text-to-speech, of course. And emergent refers to the fact that large language models can sometimes suddenly transition from being rather poor performing to being very powerful almost all at once at the moment that they pass a certain specific threshold of training data, very similar to children who quickly progress from babbling to speaking in full sentences seemingly overnight, usually at around 18 to 24 months old. The top DTS models until now have been Your TTS, Bark, and Tortoise TTS. They've all been pushing speech synthesis closer and closer to human-like speech. So, BASE from Amazon set out to beat them by training on more data than they did. Here's the paper about that. I'll leave a link to that for you in the comments. As described there, the small model was tested on 1,000 hours of audio data. The medium model was trained on 10,000 hours, and the large model was trained on 100,000 hours with almost a billion parameters. In other words, each model was trained on an order of magnitude more audio data than the next smaller one. We'll be listening today for something called prosody, which is the music behind our words, the rhythm, the pitch, the emphasis, in short, the things we hear that make our speech sound natural and without which speech would sound robotic and monotone. The audio samples in this test were rated by linguistic experts on a three-point scale, where three is natural sounding, two is good but needs improvement, and one is incorrect. Here's a list of the seven top challenges where text-to-speech tends to struggle. So, we'll look at base TTS specifically on those. And the top scoring category out of that list is compound names, like this sentence here. But since the other six categories are harder to do, we'll skip this one and get right into the hardest part for TTS to handle. The next highest in difficulty is called syntactic complexity, basically convoluted sentences that probably in most cases should have been written better in the first place. Let's take a listen to an audio file from that category. At the conference, the professor, Mark Curtis, who researched the phenomena that the student who presented earlier had focused on, made a surprising revelation that shocked the audience. Not so bad. The next three categories are very tightly clustered in regard to performance. They are foreign words, difficult punctuation, and unusual question types. You'll hear an audio sample of a foreign language coming up soon. So let's listen next to an example of difficult punctuation. This one involves non-standard use of parentheses. His latest invention, a device meant to assist in everyday chores, something he never seemed to run out of, was nothing short of brilliant. That's a very good reading of a very poorly written sentence. <laughs> the third member of this cluster is questions. Here's an example where the speaker is expressing self-doubt. I went through all of this trouble, buying flowers, chocolate, and even organizing a flash mob, and she's still rejecting me? Pretty good. Not so bad. 
The next category is more difficult, and so it scores a little lower. That category is paralinguistics, which includes sounds like groans and laughs and grunts and whispers and other non-word vocalizations, plus other things. Here's an audio example of that. A profound sense of realization washed over Maddie as he whispered, You've been there for me all along, haven't you? I never truly appreciated you until now. Pretty good, huh? Here's another example of that difficult category, this one involving sarcasm. After getting to his car, he said, Oh, great! Another Monday. I just can't wait to sit in traffic for an hour and then spend next eight hours staring at the computer screen. That's quite good, actually. And finally, here's the hardest category of all, emotion. Let's hear an audio example of that. His face lit up with pure delight as he exclaimed, We did it! We won the championship! I knew we could do it together! That's pretty good, huh? Here's another example, this time of anguish. Beth collapsed into his arms, sobbing uncontrollably. I failed them! I failed them all! They're all dead! Nothing we can do will ever bring them back. How can I ever live with myself again? How? It's not so bad, actually. I mean, this is not drama class, it's reading a text. And the intonation and the pacing certainly do imply a understanding of the passage and of the emotions that would apply, so that's very good. And as promised, here's that exact same sentence delivered this time in Spanish by a voice they call Conchita. Beth cayó en sus brazos, sollozando incontrolablemente. Les fallé, les fallé a todos. Están todos muertos. Nada de lo que podamos hacer los devolverá jamás. ¿Cómo podré volver a vivir conmigo mismo? ¿Cómo? That's very good, Conchita. Now, don't cry. It's not your fault. So, thinking about what we just heard, I think you'll agree this is very promising vocal prosody. Maybe for most situations it's already quite good enough. And definitely, text-to-speech technology is on track to just keep getting better. So, the future is bright for talking avatars. Meanwhile, thanks for watching, and see you next time.